Good day, everyone. This is Fortune Gentleman 24 with L Sword, an MORPG game. Now, this game has been around for a while, and I like it. But today, we're not here to talk about the game. We're here to talk about the new character. We're here to talk about Eve. Now, Eve is a special character, and I just love her characteristics. Hold on, one second. Okay. Now, there it is. We're just gonna. This isn't my real one. I'm just gonna show you guys a few things. Since I already have, I have my Eve right here. This is the one I'm playing solo. I will be making another one. That's for a co-op play with my friends. But for now, we're just gonna be doing a single one of a practice. So let's call it. Mm, Tester two three four. Let's begin. This should be fun. I love her story. Alright then, let's see. What was a bond time long before history has been the human and their creation of NASA would live together? Hey! As the war continued, the power became weaker and weaker and NASA. Hey! Hey, well, that doesn't really matter. Over a thousand years, the weakened El, El slowly regained its energy. Eve, preserved in her pre. Preservation capsule was reactivated when the L fragments flew into the air in an explosion. Her surrounding has changed, and she was aware that a significant amount of time has passed. She explored the premises, hoping to find fellow Nazos roaming about. The core, the Nazo equipment were still intact. But none of her Nazoid friends were reactivated. Eve, the last Nazoid, remained deep underground alone and tired to assist the situation. Eve experienced sensation presumably equivalent to the human term loneliness. In the isolation, Eve discovered that the same some of the core systems remained operational. Eve calculated that the core would require the renowned power of L to reactivate. As a result, she can reactivate all her fellow Nazos. There was no time for failure, as she wished to revive the Nazos race. She reprogrammed her preservation capsule and made it directly to the core unit. Eve programmed the core to improve itself by collecting the power of L performing equivalents in each of the new areas. However, she must have sacrificed all her energy to reactivate the core. Once again, Eve entered her preservation unit to power the core, hoping her effort would not be wasted. Eve was reactivated again, but this time it was different. It was not an L shard that woke her, but a red-haired boy. There was a yellow-haired elf woman and a dark-haired woman, no, human Nazo hybrid with him. Eve calculated that the falling Eve attempted to upgrade it. The core had been damaged. Eve experienced sensation, presumably equivalent to the human term, anger. Eve slapped a red-haired boy, an illogical and regrettable response. The pain cannot be undone, and the red-haired boy's face somehow turned red. Evidence shows that, the, that many humans are suffering at the hands of revived nanodes. Accessing archive data. Determination if they did not follow all the rules. Eve does not seek revenge, only seek to unite with kindred beings. Although such motivation is aching to human emotion, it's hardly inappropriate for NASA with the best knowledge to activate desire for friends. Eve is determined to resurrect the NASA break, and this is now her prime objective. It's not an emotional end period, but a reaction in response to current circumstances. Characteristic observation and apparent statement. Further investigation is required. In any case, Eve, as the last NASA, was remained alone again. Afterwards, the younger boy said something senseless to Eve. 
You're not alone. I'll be your friend. What are you talking about, dummy? Hey, you! Eve did not express desire for a human friend. Even at the new era, humans remain primitive to mental processes and behavior. Hypothesis. Does the red-haired boy think Eve is lonely? Loneliest in a human emotion and Eve is inhuman. Eve does, do, Eve does desire a sense of community, however. Eve is not fully active, but the core of the power and ultimate are both gone. Protocol do not exist for such cremation. Just like that, if we played the game a little farther, you would have known that. Well, just to say it anyway, that Eve is in fact the last. The four being stated the determination locate the missing power of Eve. If Eve tracked them, L energy may be restored. Additionally, Eve may encounter an opportunity to repay the red haired boy for the activation. With his absurd internet, the wholesale destruction of Eve's emperor, the red haired would use in power to Eve out of currency. Eve must have such upon encounter with him. Ex Eve expressed and gratified in response to your offer to a friendship. Correction, this is not the one. A positive program glitch. He is now fully active, but the core and the power are both gone. With this, if you play through the story before, Elzord, Rena, Raven, and Ashia, I believe, Ashia, I believe her name was, all went and fought against the Nassode King. The Nassau King is, well, the, the is Eve's king. Eve is actually the little queen. She would soon be the next queen of the Nassau. But Elsor and his friends put a stop to that and killed him. And after a while... Elsor and his friends actually managed to find her, found the queen, and was able to bring her out of sleep mode.